Did you know that you could set a world record, set a PB, or even qualify for a national meet on the first portion of a longer event, say the first 50 of a 200 freestyle, or even the first 100 of a 400 IM? And that's exactly what Seb done in this 400 IM on the weekend just gone at the PL national qualifier meet. Now to add context, in the UK, we get invited to nationals based on a ranking system in a qualifying period. This was the last weekend of the qualifying period, and after going a 103.4 in the 100 butterfly the weekend prior to this meet at the regional championships for silver medal, Seb found himself knocked into 21st place on the last weekend of the meet, having failed to go a PB on the morning in a 103.8 in the 100 butterfly. With just one event left, the 400 IM, we got the referees to agree to stand over his lane so that he could time trial an individual race. He would have to go under 103.4 to qualify for nationals, but still complete the race legally, which is no easy task considering this was a long course 400 IM. Seb got out really fast, and considering he was racing basically no one in a three-man 400 IM heat where he was going max for the first 100, he really got after it and went out 29.2.8 quicker than he did in the morning. Now, I did tell him to go to a finish, but as you can see here, he literally goes into a fly-to-back turn, not going head down for the last few strokes and pushing off straight away on some rather easy backstroke. While there's been no world record set like this in recent years, Back in the day when men wouldn't race 800s at any major meet, the 800 freestyle world record for men was quite often done swimming a 1500 and to the feet. They wouldn't even go head down and get the hand touch before continuing the race. They'd literally set a world record to the feet. And only more recently when 800 is now contested at the Olympics, we actually see that event really be pushed on. Back to Seb's race and I set him a secondary challenge of still winning his heat, which as you just saw, he was miles ahead for some portions, but ended up having to get a sprint finish off to get the victory. And there we have it, the dramatic story of how Seb went from qualifying to nationals to being knocked out and to qualifying once again at the last hour of the last day of the qualifying period, swimming his 100 butterfly PB in a 400 IM. Great job, Seb.